Hi, welcome back in the swing studio here. I'm Mike Newton and today we're going to do a little bit of ball testing. Okay, so as you can probably appreciate, and you'll have seen this on the market, there's loads and loads of different models of golf balls by all manufacturers of golf balls, you know, from Titley, Strixon, obviously Callaway, TaylorMade, you know, Bridgestone, which have now left the European market. But there's a lot of balls out there to choose from and it can be very sort of mind baffling really in terms of what is the right ball for your game. Now some brands do ball fitting days um, where I've, I've had some uh, some come here and do the, do a ball fitting days. Uh, generally what I find is when they do ball fits it's always with the driver okay which which is great um, and you know I've seen some ball fits where they've picked up yardages etc but at the end of the day you drive you don't really use a massive amount in a round of golf. Obviously I think personally Choosing the right ball has got to be, yeah, in terms of getting the right spin on it with your long shots like your driver and your, and your long irons possibly, but I'd say more so, you're going to play far more shots in and around the green than you would do obviously using driver. So I think feel around the green and the spin and control and, and again, your feel is maybe personal as to what you feel off the putter face, etc. You know, for that little bit of control around the green, I think is also important, if not probably more important than maybe just hitting those you know, sort of 10, 12 drivers during a round of golf. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little test here. I've got uh, two two golf balls here. I've got the Shrixen Z-Star golf ball. Obviously they're, they're premium golf ball, um, four piece ball. Um, excellent golf ball, I play with that myself. It is a very, very good golf ball. Against um, Shrixen's AD333 ball, which is UK's number one selling two piece ball. Four piece against two piece here, okay. And we're maybe just gonna get GC2 here to measure the spin, and that's what we're gonna look at is, this, is, the, is the spin on the ball. So obviously the Z-Star is, is promoting like a spin skin sort of technology on there, so you know, for those shorter wedge shots, the, the spin, the, the sort of skin's gripping it a little bit more, and then the inner core is hopefully when you're gonna compress it with the longer clubs like a driver, that's gonna help on ball speed and stuff like that. But we're really just gonna measure spin here. I'm gonna hit a batch of shots with each ball, with a driver, and also a batch of shots with a pitching wedge. Uh, sorry, me, 50 degree gap wedge. Okay, so same club for both tests here. We're just gonna swap the ball over. We're gonna break it up on GC2 so we can look at the averages here and maybe just see, you know, is there a bigger, big difference between the spin numbers of these golf balls or is it again more of a feel aspect that sort of is gonna override these numbers. Okay, let's, let's, let's get started. We'll start with a wedge first, the gap wedge, and we'll start with the Z Star ball first, the premium one, and then we'll switch over to the AD. Okay, so this batch of shots hit with the Z Star golf ball. I'm just going to switch over now and hit a few with the AD Triple Three. I'm going to keep the same club here, which is my 50 degree gap wedge, and we'll see. Have a look at some numbers. Okay, so the first shot with the AD Triple Three. This is a very popular golf ball with a lot of club golfers. I think it's it's UK's number one selling two piece ball. Just, I think I could probably just feel it's a smidgy harder. Just on the feel of it, off the club face. And a little bit of a pushy one. Okay, I'm just going to hit a few more off camera and they'll come back to you. Okay, so there's a batch of shots hit with the AD333. So I'm just going to have a look at some numbers here, just compare the performance of the two golf balls. As I say, I've hit them both with a 50 degree gap wedge, so the club's been exactly the same for both batches of shots. So we're looking at uh, ball speed here. Like I said, mainly we're gonna look at spin here, but ball speed you can see is pretty identical on average. Launch is identical. Uh, and then this is the one we're looking at, so back spin here. So the Z Star, we averaged at 9409, AD 9130. So there's not a huge amount there. If you just delve into the shots individually, you can see there's a few, these numbers aren't always exactly the same, as you can appreciate, and a lot of you will do, strike plays a massive part. Now, especially when you're hitting a very lofty golf club, 
you know, how you catch that golf ball. Sometimes you get it right down the back of the ball and you'll see that spin number just pop up a little bit higher. Other ones maybe catch it just a smidgy sort of heavy, not, not really a fat shot, but just a smidgy heavy than, than really getting down the back of the ball. And obviously that will just pull a little bit of spin off as you can probably see like this eight, eight, six number, eight, six number. But again, I've had that like an eight, eight there with the, the Z star. So we've got to look at it as an average here really. Um, but maybe a bit closer than what I possibly would have initially thought. You can see the distance number carries exactly the same, pretty much, you know, 112 against 113 carry distance. Okay, so we're going to move on to the driver now. Okay, uh, so there's the wedge test done. We're just going to move on to the driver now. So I'm going to, again, still keep the Z star against the AD333. Driver I'm using is the Strixon Z565 driver, 9.5 loft in a stiff flex. Okay, so again, I'm going to use exactly the same club for both golf balls here. We're going to start with the Z star first, and then we'll obviously we'll move on to the AD. Okay, let's let's get uh, get the first one hit away. So this is the Z star ball. Okay, so there's the first shot with the Z star ball. Not a bad strike there. A little bit pushy. Getting out there at 290 yards. Okay, so here's the final shot hit with the drive with the Z Star golf ball. Finish on a good one there. And that got one got out at 297. Okay, so I've got the AD triple three on the T peg now. So the Z Star, which we've just hit with the driver. Average at 2,400 backspin. So it'd be quite interesting to see what the AD does. Let's get the first shot hit. Okay, not a bad first shot there. Okay, so we're going to hit a shot, batch of shots off, off camera, and we'll come back and have a look at some numbers. Okay, so there's the last shot I've just hit with the AD333. Not a bad ball flight there. That's travelling up into 292. Number time then, guys. So, top section is the Z star with the driver. Five shots hit. And then we've got the in the red colour the AD333. Um, again, five shots hit. So, we're looking at uh, sort of ball speed here. So 157 against 158, so a smidgy quicker with the AD, not by much. Launch, touch lower there, again not much. Here we go, here's a backspin one we're looking at. So you can see there that the AD333 is spinning by about 400 revs more than the than the Z star there, averaging at 2.8 against 2.4. Okay, distance wise you see that just drops it off fractionally, but again hardly anything in it really in terms of uh, that carry distance at about seven yards in total distance here. Okay, so there's quite an interesting test there between two two golf balls. So maybe there's obviously a couple of models in between these two models as well. You know, you've got the Z Star, then you've got like your, your, your AD333 Tour, your soft field, then you've got your AD333 that we, we hit there. So as you can see, is that there's a lot of options out there in terms of golf balls. And I think probably what you'll see a little bit there between my numbers, if you look at them individually, they fluctuate a little bit on that spin, purely because of strike. You know, I'm I'm not a robot, you know, as probably a lot of you will have seen me hit me hitting some shots there. But, you know, I will move my strike pan as well as any other golfer out there um, playing. Now, obviously, your, your low handicaps, a lot of you, obviously, like your tour guides are very consistent on strike there. And maybe, I don't, again, don't know what level your golf for you guys are, but you know, your mid handicap, high handicap, you're going to move strike around a little bit, and that's going to change your numbers far more than what a golf ball would do. Now, you've got to look at it as an average because of that, that indifference of strikes there. So, look at it as an average is what you're going to really sort of go off, to be honest. Um, as you can see, in terms of the driver, you know, I, I, I personally I would like to see that lower spin number for me, so that, you know, the Z star would obviously fit in there better for me. 
and then around the greens I do want that that more spin so that the outer layer of the spin skin will kick in in the Z star and I'm going to hopefully get that lot bit more spin around the green with my lofted shots and that softer feel with the putter so for me personally the Z star would be better I could possibly go into the Z, Z, Z star XV which is a slightly lower spinning option of the, of the two Z stars there um, which is to be honest is the one that I actually game so yeah, it's interesting. It's, it, it's maybe not a bigger difference in numbers as what you might expect here, but I think feel for me, you know, I'm, I'm going to take those numbers and I'll say, yeah, the Z Star is definitely a better ball for, for myself personally. Uh, but then you've got to also look at a budget as well. You know, these golf balls are different prices. Z Star's more premium price. The AD's more um, more affordable, really, uh, for probably more more golfers. And depends obviously <laughs> the rate that you're losing them as well. You know, you might not want to spend too much. So you've got to look at all this, and all this is going to go into the equation here when you when you're looking at a golf ball, really. Um, but I said, you know, if you get a chance to get a launch monitor, maybe do some ball fitting. I think there's a lot of guys out there with launch monitors that actually offer ball fittings here. But but please, maybe just as you do that, ask him, you know, if they're just offering to do it with driver, ask him to hit some wedges as well, like what we've done here, because I think that is a very important part of it. And then maybe what I'll do from there, if there's a ball that comes out that, that, that suits in your game, is maybe just go and get a sleeve of three and, and, and go out and just play with them. Chip it around the green, put with them have a little feel that's the that's the important part is get a little bit of a feel um because you might feel this hard ball is really hard off the putter or it might even feel too soft again depending on your golf course you play at as well okay thanks for watching guys hope you found this video interesting here if there's any comments or any queries there just obviously comment down below please subscribe I'm, I'm trying to grow my channel as best i can here hopefully you guys are liking the content i'm putting up always open to ideas of other videos here and i'll try my very best to get them done but you know if you're watching this and you're not subscribed just please hit that subscribe button then you won't miss out on any future videos thanks for watching guys we'll, we'll catch up very soon